Hi, Box Modders. So, I talked to a couple people in the group the other day about uh, doing something with the ZMAX board. Uh, basically, this is, I don't know if you want to call it a hack, but a lot of people have the old uh, Chinese smoke tech boards laying around. and uh, Or anything, the key to this one, and I go into this more in, uh, in more detail soon, uh, anything with a the old rattlesnake PWM sound, um, you know, uh, if you look in any new vapors group, <clears throat> they'll talk about the eye stick and how it's PWM. Or you know, these days, it's the eye stick that's PWM. Uh, back in not that long ago, I don't say back in the day because it really was like a maybe a year ago, the Vamo had uh, quite a bit of market shares, and it was it was PWM. 33 hertz or something like that 33 50 whatever so <clears throat> I have this guy laying around and I got to thinking well I make these PWM boards and uh, you know I make them with the uh, the 555 chip and uh, by the way uh, box modders that is a chip a 555 is a chip it's an integrated circuit uh, upon which many discrete circuits are placed. Um, this, not a chip, this is a board because it has that green flat thing that we call a board upon which discrete and integrated components are mounted. Very important. Anyway, <clears throat> so I have this ZMAX board and uh, I was thinking, well this thing puts out PWM and I'm going to show you that. By the way, see this pulsing? This this is the struggle, my friends. If you have a CRT oscilloscope, an actual sweeping oscilloscope, this is the struggle. If you put it on something like, focus, 10 milliseconds there, 10 milliseconds, <clears throat> this is the pulse. And this is what you have to deal with. You guys with your fancy digital oscilloscopes don't know this struggle. Anyway. Check it out. So this is this is the highest duty cycle it'll do. It's it's on most of the time. You may be able to hear the crackling of the atomizer in the background. But by the way, this works. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing a fucking video of it. Uh, so as you see, you have zero sometimes, and then high sometimes, just like that. And that's exactly what what I do with the five five five, and what some of you guys have done with the five five five. Awesome job, PWMers. Awesome job. Anyway, so, how does this work? Well, I'm not going to do a fucking P. Basardo review of the ZMAX. You can you can actually go to P. Basardo's YouTube page and see his review of the ZMAX. And, uh, yeah, so, um, not going not gonna to talk about the clicky button, not going to do thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, not going to fucking do it. I'm not going to snort fucking vapor through my nose either, or snort it out. Anyway, so, this was, I had this laying around, and I'm going to tell you why I had it laying around here soon, but the point is, we saw, right there, PWM output, zero and some voltage. Now, <clears throat> this will work. Now, let's see where our voltage is. This I'm going to just teach you how to read a fucking oscilloscope. Five volts per division. So, a division is one of these little, let me turn this up, that's less annoying. Uh, one of these illuminated lines, if I can get that, let me turn the intensity down on that. So each one of these lines is a division. So, intensity back up, just intense enough. There we go, that's better. Let me turn this back to, okay, so five volts per division. So let's count them. We have five, and then in between, so 7.5 roughly, in between the next one. So it goes from zero to 7.5. Why does it go to zero, or from zero to 7.5? Well, let's take a look. The ZMAX board can be run one of two ways. It can be run in, notice, I'm in series right now. I have my beater minkies. Love my beater minkies. <clears throat> this is in series. Notice my operating voltage, 8.24. Uh, when I fire the ZMAX, we go down to about 7.5. And you can actually see that on the ZMAX. 
one of the fancy features of the Z Max, <laughs> fancy, is it. Well, that didn't work at all. Displays the loaded, the loaded voltage. Uh, it will not display unloaded voltage, and that's important. It's important to understand when you're if you're gonna if you're gonna use this, uh, this thing cuts off at 6.4 volts. So that said, this thing has 6.4 volt cutoff when you're in series. When you're in single or parallel, it has a 3.2 volt cutoff. Loaded, loaded by the way, gentlemen and ladies, because the ladies love my videos too. So loaded, notice we're coming down and it's 7.4, it's fairly accurate. Uh, I mean, it's consistent with a Chinese voltmeter, and this is a Chinese product, so eh, it's as accurate as the other Chinese thing. Anyway, uh, so you have 6.4 volts to work with, loaded. So that's <clears throat> that can be a limitation for you bros out there who like to drag your volts down to 0.3 volts on a fucking 0.000001 um, coil, uh, in like with four cells in series, or whatever it is you do. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, otherwise, though, so this is set. So let's go into the let's go into the menu real quick. And I'm, this is not going to be a fucking Pibasardo review, I promise. Uh, we're at 15 watts, which is irrelevant, by the way. All this does is adjust the the duty cycle. It doesn't fucking know what wattage it's putting out anymore. The lowest is three watts. I mean, fucking take my word for it. I'm not doing the round robin thing. Watch the Pibasardo video. Nice little small duty cycle. Okay, and you can see this, like, you can't even hear the fucking atomizer. There you go. So, not a whole lot. Um, so he gives you a fairly wide range, a fairly wide range of adjustment, but, but, uh, you only have that 6.4 volts loaded to work with. And that is, <clears throat> that's not a pulse reading either, that's a constant reading. So if you drag your cells down, and notice now it's like not even close to being accurate. Um, as you drag your cells down, and I don't, I don't fucking know why. It's, it's a fucking ZMAX board, what do you want from me? Um, <clears throat> maybe it is a pulse reading, I don't know. Uh, as you drag your cells down, uh, you're going to have a harder time doing a high duty cycle on this. So that's a limitation. And that's a limitation you're not going to see with a 555. Uh, but just so you understand, uh, can you run this with three cells in series? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, and I'm I'm not about to I'm not about to sacrifice this, this board to find out. Um, what what this would be maybe a little better for is if you had uh, a power supply. Then if you could regulate the output, then that would be maybe a bit better. Um, so, a neat, a neat trick, if you really wanted to fuck with your friends, because uh, this is, I know some of you are probably asking why, why Mike? Why the fuck would you do something uh, like this? And, well, why was I, f I fucking came up with the idea and I wanted to see if it would work. Uh, but why would you implement this in a mod? Well, this is probably one of the best possible sleeper mods you can imagine. Now, of course, you could just do this. You could just have a fucking... You could have a mock-up of a ZMAX board and just have it be unregulated. And just have it straight up MOSFET box, no, no bullshit. Um, but if you really wanted a functional ZMAX board in your mod and have it control your output and have a little sleeper box, hey, look, guys, all I can do is 15 watts. Look what 15 watts looks like. And fuck with your stupid friends, because we all know we have a lot of stupid modder friends out there. Not modder friends, but vapor friends. Uh, you can go to any general vape group and, and see them. So, uh, it, you can you could do that. I don't fucking know. Do whatever you want with it. So, um, like I said, the the voltage display kind of quirky. Um, it, it's not it's not pulling the batteries in, in real time. It's pulling them from its last. Uh, it does a it does a loaded pulse, and I'll I'll show you that. Let me back off the atomizer. Let's let's see what it does. Uh, Pibasardo didn't do this, so fuck him. Let's see. So it gives it a pulse. It reads it reads the pulsed uh, output. <clears throat> so as we see, it's pretty close to what we're 
what we're actually... I always fuck this up. One button menu, no fucking fun. So pretty close to what we have. And uh, I don't think you can see the spike. I don't think you're going to be able to see the spike on the, the oscilloscope. Let's see. No, not going to happen. Um, if you have a fancier oscilloscope, you might be able to catch... Because it, what it does, it fires it for a second and gives you the the voltage. So that's loaded voltage. Anyway, everything in here is governed by loaded voltage. Uh, what can you do about that? If you're really dedicated to the cause uh, and you don't and you don't care for this thing to be anything but a sleeper, uh, you can put a little regulator on this bitch and just send four volts into it. Send four volts into it constant and uh, you can do that with something like this. The OKRT 1.5 Let's take a look at this bitch. <clears throat> so, you guys are familiar with the OKR T10. Well, that's the 1.5, motherfucker. And this one's uh, hacked and uh, the unnecessary legs are pulled off and it's just set up for uh, 5 volt operation. Um, but you can change, so I could just change this resistor out to whatever it would need to be for 4 volts or 4.2 volts. Um, and put it right in there. And then you'd have a constant 4 volts and you wouldn't have to worry about your fucking batteries dying. Unless somehow you pulled your series cells below 4.5 volts or so, 4.6 volts. Uh, and if you're doing that, um, just just stop breathing. Anyway, uh, so there it is. ZMAX board, um, can you do this with anything else? Yeah, you can do this with anything else that has PWM. If, here's the big if, ladies and gentlemen. If it has the capability of firing without an atomizer. Because, I'm going to show you this, that it reads, it's going to read an open circuit. I'm going to put it on resistance. That's that's an R, by the way. You didn't know that, did you? 9.9 um, .9 ohms. That's that's as high as it'll read. It reads no atomizer on there whatsoever. And it's, it's plugged in. Let me go put it back to uh, something a little better. Round robin. There you go. Proved it to you. It fires the atomizer without <clears throat> so there you go um, so you can do this probably with a, with a VAMO board uh, I don't know if the, the the V5 or the Sigeli or fucking whatever um, you know when these when the more updated versions with the OLED screens came out in uh, later on and oh I don't know 2013 whenever the fuck they came out uh, I don't know if these, if those are going to be valid. Uh, what you have to do is get yourself a, a, a little fucking voltmeter thingy or something. Screw that bitch. You know, one of those screw-on voltmeters. I don't know where the hell mine is right now. Otherwise, I'd just show you one. Um, anyway, get a little screw-on voltmeter or fucking make one like a, like the modder that you think you are. And uh, screw the bitch on to your uh, tube. By the way, only tube mod I own, ZMAX. The cracked ass screen because I left a fucking soldering iron on the uh, on the screen once. Um, right there, ZMAX Mini. It's my dual 18500 Mini, by the way. Anyway, um, yep. So, anyway, uh, if you have one of these laying around and you want to fucking take the bitch apart and check it out, do it. But uh, fire that bitch and uh, put a screw and voltmeter on there and see if the bitch works. Um, Check it out. So uh, that's it. That's it, guys. It works. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't do everything that a 555 does. Um, but it's if you're looking to build a, a fucking trash box, this is only a. It's an only an addition of a MOSFET and the resistor. I don't even fucking have the resistor in there because actually you don't even need the resistor because I've been running this thing without the resistor. That's the. There's the resistor sitting right there the whole fucking time. Um, because this bitch gives a positive, or I wouldn't say a positive, it gives a definite um, zero. Gives a different on and off. Um, you don't need the resistor. However, however, uh, if you decide to make a bypass, let's say you want to run it straight in regulated series, you will need the resistor um, because uh, if you decide to switch this to a switch, that just runs off of the positive. This is a positive into the MOSFET. You're going to need a fucking resistor, guys. So, um, consider that. Anyway, uh, questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the fucking comments.
Duders out.